Hi, welcome back to another episode of PainFreeFinally.com. I'm your host, Greg Rollette, here with Houston's senior specialist, Dr. John Trowbridge. And in this episode, we're still talking about stem cells. And right now, we're talking about the elbow and how they might be able to treat the elbow. All kinds of elbow injuries, from tennis elbow to, you know, just joint pain that's Golfer's been bothering elbow. us. Golfer's elbow. Yes, you yes. know, all that fun stuff. Let's talk about elbows and, and some of the issues you're seeing your patients come in with. Sure. I, you know... Again, this is one of those joints where if it weren't held together by the rubber bands, it'd fall off. Okay, <laughs> right. that makes it hard to use your hand. It does, okay? yeah. And, and so when you take a look at the elbow, it is surrounded by, now this model of course is designed for you to be able to take a look inside, but it's surrounded by all these rubber support bands. Mm -hmm. Now those are called uh, tendons and when they're attached to muscle, yeah. ligament when it's bone to bone. But the key thing is, is without those intact, you hurt. Mm -hmm. And the reason you hurt is because as they stretch and tear, either from a fall, an injury, or just overuse, you know, people talk about golfers and, and tennis because yeah. you're swinging a big weight yeah, out and there you're and, really using and that that's elbow. a lot, a lot of, of force going across. Not what it was designed to do. Yeah. And so when you have those areas that are inflamed, that's painful. And so, of course, you know, the, the famous ad, take this anti-inflammatory or that one. Yeah. The only problem is, you know, those are risky drugs and you can actually have bleeding episodes. You can bleed to death. That's mm -hmm. one they don't always tell you, but that's right. true. The operations on elbows actually are very good if you have torn it apart. Okay? Yep. Most people have not. So they don't need to have something screwed back on. They simply need to have the tissues repaired. Now, the nicest thing is, is that most of the patients that I see don't need stem cells. Because okay. we can do the reconstructive therapy. We can do what's called prolotherapy. Okay. I've been doing that for many, many years, and you go right on the spots and you tease the, the tissues and say, do the healing here. Yeah. Okay. What if what if it won't? What if it won't? Okay. Then we need to bump it. Yeah. And that's where stem cells come in. Happily it's a fairly small treatment. It's not a big one because, you know, the areas that you need to have fixed are fairly small. Yeah. And so we can do very discrete stem cell treatments, repair these rubber bands, these support tissues and people go on about their lives happy because now they're comfortable, yeah. which is good because that's the 24-7, okay? But they're also capable. They can return to their sports. They yeah. can have a great time. Now, at, at what point should they be talking to you about the stem cells? After they've already gone through the first procedure, should they at least be having the conversation right when they're, you know, maybe they had that, that tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, mm -hmm. something for, for a few mm -hmm. years. When's the right time to start having this conversation? I, I, I think the stem cell conversation comes after I first see if we can fix it more simply. Yeah. Okay, because if you, are looking for a result, not a procedure, not not just because I do this or that. I will generally talk you out of doing a more expensive or more elegant procedure. Yeah. You don't need it. Yeah. Okay. But when you've got something, especially that hasn't healed, is very frustrating. Or I'll, I'll give you a great example. You might be a spouse taking care of someone in your family who needs to be lifted out of bed or into the wheelchair yeah. or things like that, where you've got more of an urgent need to get something repaired. Stem cells become ideal. They can be very quickly effective, and then you heal quite completely. That's yeah. the beauty of becoming pain-free finally. Exactly. Now, uh, one of the ways to know where we are in the treatment process, right. to know which is the right treatment, right. is uh, to answer some questions, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. You, you need information, right? I the do. doc can't fix you if you don't know what's wrong. Correct. And so you've set up something really cool at painfreefinally.com, which right. is just a little quiz. Right. Um, they answer some questions, and it gets you the information. It right. also gets them to share that information so you can figure out Correct. the right treatment. Correct. Correct. And, and the idea is we want to educate you into what your choices are, because you're as much a part of a design. That's what I call the partnership. You do yeah. your part, I do my part, right? and it makes it easy. I love that. So if you're watching this right now and you've had some issues with the elbow, you've been in pain, whether it's just the last few days, the last few months, or the last few years, what you need to do now is head to painfreefinally.com. Take this short quiz and see how Dr. John Trowbridge can help you to be pain-free finally. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.